to my Wednesday Night Live. I'm going to go ahead and reverse the camera here. Someday I'll get this figured out so that it doesn't do that anymore. But until then, we'll just work through it. So sorry about not being able to go live last week. Just didn't work out. So I'm going to do a few projects today to hopefully make up for that. And for anyone watching this later on on replay, this is a live video. So the whole point of it's for me to be able to chit chat with people, answer their questions, etc. If that's not your kind of video, feel free to not watch. That's okay. I have lots of just regular tutorials. And for everybody else, thank you for joining me here live. Please say hi in the chat box. Let me know where you're tuning in from. And we're going to have some fun. Okay. I think that's pretty good. I'll adjust it more later as needed. So let me get it pulled up on my computer so that I can see you guys and answer any questions. Here we are. Okay. Hey Barbie. Hey Veronica. Hey Lisa. Hey Tina. Hey Cindy. Welcome. Welcome. All right. So I feel like the camera angle is a little weird. <laughs> Venice, Florida still standing. Did anybody have any horrible hurricane weather yesterday in Florida? I uh, reached out to my dad. He said he's doing totally fine. He's like, yeah, I don't know. It's just a little bit of rain. <laughs> All right. So I did preheat my resin just a little bit. Not a lot. Um, you don't really need to for this project as much. Hey, Kathleen. Nope, just some rain. That's what my dad said. <laughs> I know the news always makes it like 10 times worse. People were reaching out to me all last week about the hurricane that we supposedly had here. It was literally nothing. And we had a hurricane and an earthquake. <laughs> and I was like, ah. Barely noticed. <laughs> so it's pretty funny. But the news made it seem like we were all dying. And then, even better, you guys, um, I decided to go to the movies with my family a few days ago. And I know some of you saw this story, but um, yeah, we literally got evacuated mid movie because somebody left a toilet, a full toilet outside the movie theater saying that there was a B-O-M-B -B in it. I don't wanna say anything on YouTube to make them worry. worry. Um, but yeah, long story short, there wasn't, but it was kind of funny. We got us evacuated. All right. I am going to mix up about 16 ounces. This project does not need that much. It needs more like 12 ounces. I'm starting off with part B. This is mixed media girl artist resin. And then part A. Like I said, we're gonna do a few projects today. We're gonna do a couple resin ones and then we'll do an acrylic pour project as well. So I'm doing the resin first because, ironically, it's actually less messy. Yeah, Dad is just fine. Right, here we go. <laughs> well, I don't know if you guys heard of the Americana, but it's a very popular outdoor mall that we have here in a pretty upscale area. Um, so how somebody got a toilet in the middle of that mall is just beyond me. It was a pretty packed night, so, but whatever. Got us out of a movie that wasn't that great, but I like watching movies even if they're terrible. So I'm still a little sad that I didn't get to finish it. They did give us tickets to come back, but oh well. <laughs> and to top it off, it was the first time I let Sierra go to a movie by herself. 
So she went to one movie and I went to a different one. And then this happens. Never gonna happen again. Never letting her go anywhere by herself again. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so you wanna stir this for about three to four minutes. Scrape the sides, scrape the bottom. And what I'm gonna do here is a vase and bowl set for a friend of mine. I know, right? Um, she asked for, and please do not hate me if I get this wrong. I am a nerd, but I'm also not a nerd, I guess. Um, she wanted Ravenclaw colors. Um, I hope that's the right one. It's the one with blue and gold and gray. Okay, I think that's Ravenclaw. I hope. That's the color that I'm doing. So, yeah, she asked me to do this a couple months ago and I decided, you know what, let's go ahead and just get it done on this live video. Um, I've been, I don't take on a lot of custom orders because they just take me too long to get done right now. And guys, this is your time with me. So this is uh, where you can ask me anything. You can ask me about resin art, acrylic pouring. If you wanna ask me business questions, go for it. I'll do my best to answer. Of course, I am painting at the same time, so. All right, this is pretty well mixed. So let's get our colors mixed up. Um, I'm definitely using some white. and then a blue, a gray, and then a gold. I'm just gonna use one blue, but it'll end up having different tones because of the other colors in there. So let's see if I do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm not going to do quite as much gray. I'm going to do a little more blue and a little more white. Okay. That's a little too much. <laughs> I can always add a little more clear if needed. Um, Tina, I pretty much never get resin on my apron. I get paint on there because I wipe my hands off on there, but resin has not really happened, ironically, so. All right, let's get the white in here. Now we wanna use white because it is opaque. You know what, I feel like I have too much though, too much white. I'm gonna put a little back. Sometimes I, I think I do overdo it on the white. I don't wanna overdo it. So, there we go, okay. Um, we want the white to be opaque. I'm using Illumilite white resin dye. And I'm gonna add a decent amount. I'm not actually measuring, but let's say it's about 10 drops. Cheryl, I do not get smooth rims because I like the bumps as part of the project. But as I say in every single video where I do this, you can always sand them off if you want. That's just my personal preference. If you want smooth rims, you can sand them off. Um, you could also babysit it as it's drying and wipe the rim. That's another possibility, but I definitely don't worry about that. All right, so for the blue, I'm using Illumilite uh, Translucent Blue dye. This is not the same as Ocean Blue. Um, the Ocean Blue is like a teal. This is a blue blue. Um, but I'm also going to add into it a little bit of Crater Lake Blue. Hello, one crafty gal. And that's just going to lighten this up a little bit. Have you ever tried any of those resin molds that are cheese boards and chess pieces? Um, I have not. Veronica's done the chess one. She said it was a pain in the rear. I actually have that mold, but she's kind of... um. <laughs> made me not want to try it <laughs> yeah so ooh, I think that's gonna be a good blue all right and we can always pivot if we need to we can always add 
um, another blue in there. So for the gold, I'm gonna add just a smidge of this bronze in here. And I do mean just a smidge. I want it to be um, a light, a darker gold, sorry. And then I'm also gonna add some gold dust, which will make it nice and sparkly gold. And then the, the gold metallic. Okay, I can always alter this as needed, but let's get it mixed up. <laughs> yeah, Tara, me too. I will try it. <laughs> Just, I have to do it when I have a lot of time and patience, I think, which is not right now. I have neither right now. Okay, so that's a nice dark gold. I'm excited about that. Uh, this is an extra cup. So for this, um, I'm going to do gray. So I was trying to decide if I should do like a, I think I'm gonna use this, I'm, I'm just gonna use this titanium powder. That'll be easier. I was gonna do black and white, but I'll use this, which will give us a nice gray, plus be a little sparkly. Um, anyone here a major Harry Potter fan? Let me know, because I could use a little advice. How do you price your vases? Um, I price everything I make based off of the cost of the materials and the time it makes me to do time it takes me to do it plus experience and there's always you know how much I like the piece and how much the demand is for it. So um, typically my vases end up being anywhere from twenty to forty dollars, sometimes more. Nope. No Harry Potter fans here? What? <laughs> Having trouble believing that. There's got to be at least one in this crowd. Maybe not. All right. I've read the books also. But I'm just curious, like, if someone were to say Ravenclaw, what colors would come to someone's mind who was a big Harry Potter fan, right? I'm trying to decide if I should concentrate more on the gold or more on the silver, because I'm just not sure <laughs> which is more important. Okay, my white is a little transparent still, so I'm gonna add a little more white to it. Yellow and black, okay, interesting. <laughs> was not an answer I was expecting. Um, I don't think they have black at all. I think it's like a dark gray, but I get what you mean. Do you have to use opaque resin to do a glass vase? So the resin is always opaque. Resin is transparent. Or sorry, resin is tr always transparent. It's not opaque. So that backwards. Um, it's the colorants that will either be transparent or opaque. And you want to have a combination of them. You don't want to have all of one or another. If you use all transparent colors, they're just going to disappear. They're going to all blend together and you will not have any separate colors really and your vase will be really transparent. So I use a combination of both. Yeah, it's definitely not green, <laughs> but that's okay. All right, before I start really quick, I'm going to take a paper towel and some isopropyl alcohol. And I'm going to just wipe this off to get any dust, dirt, fingerprints, etc. Blue and bronze, okay. Yeah, this silver that I have is a dark silver, so I think it will work out. All right, so. Um, cherish you can. I have not done that because I don't really see the point. I'm not sure why you would do that, but you absolutely could. Hopefully I understood your question. Okay, let me adjust this just a little bit. Okay. 
Can you guys all see this okay? And I'm videoing this separately so that I can have a full video as well for you guys. Okay, good. All right, so I'm going to start off with white. Actually, I'm going to wipe out this silver I got here first because that will affect the other side of my project. Get out of there. Well, Wendy, truth be told, I'm going through a divorce. So there's that. Um, my daughter's doing great though. She's been putting up some videos on her YouTube channel, which is Starline Arts. If anybody wants to check that out, she's about to have an art sale on there. So she's doing great. All right, so there's some white. Um, don't think I'm gonna go across the whole thing with blue because the blue and the gold together are gonna make green. So I've gotta be careful with that. I'm going to use, I think the gray right on the blue here. And then we'll kind of do, let's layer a little bit of white. Remember, this is a lot of layers we're gonna have here. And then we'll do some of the gold. So it's definitely gonna be a little bit of a trick to not blend these colors in a way that I don't want. Hey, Sarah, welcome. Good to see you here. All right, do a little more white. I'm gonna kind of use white as a buffer in between. And we're just gonna do layer upon layer upon layer. It's all good, Lisa, it happens. All right, so here's some more blue. I'm kind of thinking I might want to add one more blue in here, like a lighter blue, but I don't know. <laughs> it looks nice up against that white. Thank you, Char. Char, Char. Well, I'm not sure. This is looking pretty cool, though. And so far, we're doing pretty good at avoiding the green. I know, right? Knock on wood with that. Okay, so I'm going to take a break here real quick, and I'm going to use my finger to touch up any spots that haven't got resin yet. And I'll rotate this so you guys can see my side. I can see your side. So this will just help that resin to flow. Thank you, Sarah. I love it too. I've been having a lot of fun with this recently. Hopefully you guys have been catching um, some of my, I've been, I've definitely been posting more on Facebook. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's much easier to edit some quick videos for Facebook than for YouTube, but I'm trying to do both. Um, with my limited time, 
So yeah, I've been having some fun there. All right, we are actually almost done with this. Just a few more layers and then I'm gonna get a little more specific with it. And then I might take the rest of my resin and just pour it around the side of this mold. going to be kind of the, the final layer here, I think. This, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the vase seems to be leaning that way just a little bit. I am gonna see if I can straighten it gently. Nope, it's gonna stay where it is, that's okay. Just have to factor that into my design. Now you do not have to pour like this, by the way. You can pour however you want. Um, sometimes I kind of like pouring a little more around it, but that's gonna blend your colors a little more. This keeps them quite separate. <laughs> Wendy, it's okay. Don't worry about it. It's actually going quite well. Sometimes these things are not bad, you know? Sometimes it's definitely the right move. All right. Almost done here. So I'm actually gonna let that run for a little bit and then I'm going to um, touch it up with some, I definitely need more blue on here. That's for sure. At least on my side I do. And then I think I'm gonna go mostly blue and gold with a touch of that gray. All right, so I'm gonna take my stick and kind of get some slightly more detailed lines here. I'm going to put some more white with the blue and then add a little more blue again. And I think that'll be good. Now it's always a little hard to tell because it's going to keep running. All right. So I'm going to quickly torch it, and I do mean quickly, if you over torch it, all of your colors will run off, and they'll blend together a lot more. So I'm going to rotate this again. Might do a little more work on this other side now that I can see it a little better. I don't know, I kind of like it actually. A tiny bit more gold over here. <laughs> I think this is pretty good. Oh no. I may have to go grab my charger for my computer, you guys. I thought I had more charge, but apparently not. So let's do this. I'm going to get the rest of the colors into this cup. I'm gonna pour them around the bottom of my project here into the mold, and then I'm gonna run and grab my charger while it is draining down. So that I don't lose your guys' comments. Oh yeah. Um, and over to Veronica for some important announcements. So be 
careful, careful not to hit your face when you're doing this part. These colors would blend together anyway, so it's all good. All right, there you go. Be back in 10 seconds. As soon as I close the door, don't start counting yet. Hopefully that was 10 seconds. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I did it. All right. Uh, which one of these cords don't I need? I don't know. We'll find out. to carefully move this off to the side. I think I did pretty good on my colors here. Awesome, Jill. So carefully lift up by the cup. Move it to the side. And then I like to just let that hole fill in. Ooh, um, I am going to heat gun this real quick, which will do two things. It'll get rid of the air bubbles and it will help that hole to fill in a little bit faster. Let me just move some stuff out of the way real quick since we're gonna need to wait anyways. Yeah, I don't, I don't generally advise doing resin on a spinner, but anyways, so while we are waiting for that to close up, I'm going to grab some things to get started on the next project, and I'm going to show you guys something real quick. Uh, someone suggested, I think it was on Facebook, that I do some mini bowls, so I tried it, because right now I'm doing a big one. Um, unfortunately, I didn't really have the best thing to put them in, so they're barely bowls. <laughs> they're more like curved coasters. They're really pretty. But I went and I got some little bowls that should be perfect to shape them in, I'm thinking. So what we're going to do is some of those. Thing needs to hurry up so I can move it out of the way. Yeah, I love making these bowls. I'm having so much fun. Put some more gloves on. I might heat gun this one more time and then just scooch it out of the way.
also spray it with some isopropyl alcohol, which will also help. Um, Darlene, the bottom of the base would be way too big to make these small bowls. So it wouldn't work with this, but you could use it for the big bowls. Yes, absolutely. Um, and I think I did that in a different video if I remember correctly. All right. <laughs> oh no, Tina. So scooch this to the side and then we'll get started on our next project. Actually, I'm gonna move it to the different side. Okay. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Everybody close your eyes. Ha ha. This is going to be an alcohol ink project. I'm going to use the same colors that I tried to use before. Yeah, maybe if you have some smaller vases, it definitely wouldn't work with any of the ones I have, but I think these bowls should be pretty perfect. So I'm excited about that. I will definitely let you guys know by tomorrow. All right. So I did one a few days ago with mermaid colors essentially, and I want to use those same colors. All right, we're going to start off with a blue. And these are small molds, so you really don't need a lot. And we're going to get a purple. Ooh. All right, and then I have a teal here. And then I've got a couple metallics. I'm going to use a metallic blue and a metallic purple. And these I'm going to kind of just shake in here. They add a beautiful shimmer. So that's the blue. Here is the purple. And one, I'm actually going to go in here with that first blue that I used, and I'm gonna add a little bit in the middle as well. And then we've got some gold. Um, I don't typically clear coat the vase, but you can. Kind of depends, I usually don't though. You don't need to, that's for sure. A little bit of white, otherwise these come out pretty dark. All right, now for the fun part. Take our resin and slowly pour in the middle. I'm not going to fill these molds all the way up. If I was doing coasters, I would, but I won't only want to fill them maybe about halfway. Otherwise, they'll just be too thick to make into a bowl. Hopefully that's not too much. And that's really all there is to this. Um, Ingrid, I don't know because I don't know what you did, but um, if it's not sticking to the glass, there's either something wrong with your resin, you might not have used enough of it, or your glass had some oils of some sort on it beforehand, maybe from your hands or something like that. So those are my two best guesses without knowing what you did. <laughs> all right, that's literally all there is to that for now. Scooch those to the side. I have a little bit of resin left. So let's see, what should we do with this? It's not enough to do any kind of big project. I might just, I'm going to just mix a little bit of diamond dust in here and put it into a, um, 
Actually, I'll, I'll mix some blue glow and I'll put it into a pyramid mold. Though it's not enough to do the flower mold, so it would just be part of one. So I'm just gonna put put it in the pyramid mold. Mold, why not? Let me just find it. It's somewhere. Oh, here it is. Where are you? <laughs> I am the most organized person you will ever meet. That is pure sarcasm. Let's zoom back out. Close your eyes. Or not. Oh, really, Tina? That's cool. Come on. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> it did not want to <laughs> go off right there. All right, so I don't even have any lights to put into this part, but that's okay. Super zoom. Yeah. simple. And that'll just be the first layer of that pyramid. As always, I'm going to spritz it with some alcohol and that's it. Yeah, the gold and the white are very different. Um, first of all, they're different brands. So the rest is pinata, or the golden white are pinata, the rest are ranger, by the way. So all the brands are going to react differently. But gold and white specifically, they are heavier and they tend to kind of sit there. So interesting fact. All right. I was going to do a project when I thought this was going to be a little less messy. I am still going to do one. I'm just going to do a smaller project than I was anticipating. And I'm thinking maybe a grenade pour. Ooh, this vase is drying awesome. Nice, Rochelle. Yeah, I have all kinds of molds around all the time that I use. I would have put it in one of those peony molds, but I've done about a hundred of those in the last couple of days. So I thought I would give that a little break and start on another pyramid. Okay. All right, yeah, let's do, let's do us a grenade pour. Clear out some space. on the floor that I keep kicking. It's very annoying. Alright, uh, do a 12 by 12. And I'm going to start off with it raised up so that I don't get it in that wet resin on the table. Ah, 17 minutes left to the art auction. Oh no, I have to finish this video so I can go do the art auction. Oh no. Oh jeez. Okay. Do not put your nose into anything. To find four matching pyramids. This is the challenge. Aha. <laughs> yes, and the um, the sale on my website ends tomorrow, you guys. Use the code CLOSING for 12% off of resin, um, pouring paints, and courses, and art, and split cups and bottle bottoms. All right.
And I know what colors I'm going to do here. It's the same colors I was going to do in the other project I was going to do that I'm not doing. That's a lot of words. All right. So this canvas takes about nine ounces of paint. We're going to start off by poking a pin into the cup, into the bottom. Now it's a little heavy compared to that cup. So <laughs> let's start off with a little bit of white. These are all mixed media girl pouring paints. And then I'm gonna add some glow green. And this is a seasonal color. So it's on my website right now. And then we're gonna get some Caribbean teal. Ooh, and we're gonna throw that on the canvas. And we're gonna use a little bit of black. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> it's getting pretty hot in here. <laughs> Plus I need to go eat dinner probably. Yeah. And so I'm just going to use these colors because they are awesome together. We're gonna only use a tiny bit of that black don't want to get a bunch of gray. <laughs> All right, white, top it off with a tad, glow green. Okay, I think that's good. All right, so for the grenade pour, we're going to flip cup it. Let's let that sit there for just a second while I put these caps on and move them out of the way before I knock them over. Lost a cap. And the fun thing about the grenade pour is you pull the pin and it explodes. So here we go. This canvas is a little saggy, so hopefully, okay, it cooperates. <laughs> Ooh, that's exciting. Now it's going to move because it has to move somewhere. If your table's not level, it'll move towards that direction. Not gonna lie, my table's I think a little bit crooked this way. You can just lift it up like this, or what I like to do is lip it. So I'm gonna lift and lip. I'm not gonna do too much though, cause look at that. Woo! That's exciting. Now how you pour the colors in the cup will definitely affect the outcome. I tend to pour my colors a little more violently for this technique um, so that I can bring out some cells and reactions. Not move that side over there. Oh, I know. Oh my goodness. Ignore that. That didn't happen. That's how we know it's a live video. <laughs> I'm going to just help this over here. I want to retain as much of this as possible, but it's I'm going to have to run some of it off. I'm going to take a little leftover paint here. Come on. All right, that's gonna take too long. <laughs> you can take a little bit from the table too. easier to hold. Ah, come back here. All right, that is just plain awesome. 
Okay, I'm gonna come around, make sure I got all my sides and corners, and then we will do a quick close up and look at it in the dark, and then we're all gonna run away. Aw, that's awesome, Tina. Um, Nancy, in the upcoming boxes, we have the glow green, but it's all while supplies last, just to be clear. Um, and then we're gonna have tiger orange. And then if you guys would like any specific colors, let me know. Like I often will do the Payne's gray. I think that's a beautiful one for this season. Okay, close your eyes. So there's a few. I'm kind of getting more into the fall colors. Um, and I still have a few more to come up with. Check out this. We got winter in here. There's a snowy forest in here. So I don't know how charged these right? Or you can use a black light, which I don't have. But we're gonna just turn off the lights in here and see what we see. Everybody get prepared. Here we, hold on. Here we go. Nice. Okay, it is still daylight outside, so the bathroom door's open. <laughs> yeah, I can't completely block out the light, but you guys can get the idea. <laughs> and you can see the green glowing back there. Um, so I'll, I'll take a picture of this when it is dry, and I'll do a picture in the dark and in the light. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I appreciate you joining me. So the art auction ends in nine minutes. Hey, Debbie, welcome. Uh, that sale ends tomorrow. And um, I did put out some um, overstock boxes yesterday. They already sold out. But what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna tell you guys first, is I am going to add five more right now. Just five more. So give me a second. And you can use that code on these boxes. Please, please, please do not place an order and ask me to apply a code. Please. It actually loses me money and time. But mainly it loses me money because I don't get any of the card processing fees back. So as a business, that's really hard to do. Okay, all right, so let me get this back. I'll grab the link for you guys, but um, check it out. Check out the auction. Don't forget to take advantage of this discount. And I will see you guys all next time. Have a fantastic rest of your week. Bye guys.